So I keep thinking about this cosmopolitan socialist idea, which I wrote about in Against, against the Web. And um, what was interesting in that was, I, I, I think that that model is definitely the one we need. So, 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 so. I keep thinking about this cosmopolitan socialist idea. That was very much evident on this call. Oh my god! Um, and so I think that this cosmopolitanism, with a ground in materialist politics and Marxist analysis of the economic base, is where it is. Is where things is is the best way to go about things. We're in a global society. We're in a deeply interconnected one. We have to overcome all sorts of legacies of division, abuse, and oppression. Um, but we also have to create cohesion, integration, and actually build models for things that are better. And part of how we do that is by really genuinely recognizing the global interconnectedness of everybody and really deeply reading from and going in between different traditions and synthesizing them, looking for synthesis, looking for points of reference. I, that's how we do this show. I think Amilcar Cabral has more to teach us about 2020 in the United States than almost anybody who's writing about 2020 in the United States. 
So this is my perspective. And, and the reason I want to bring in integral theory or some of the ideas around something called metamodernism, and I would check out uh, Jeremy Johnson and Brent Cooper and Michelle Bowens with Peer to Peer Foundation. And this is like where, you know, it gets trickier. I've been kind of saying like, look, I, you know, there is like a spiritual, for lack of a better word, element to this. Because in order to develop that, hey, abstract, what's up? 